figure out what to do. Um, last June, we had a meeting with Mr. Charles. Uh, I have a copy of the minutes from that meeting. And um, uh, unfortunately, we came to the Planning and Zoning Commission August 2nd of that same year. Mr. Charles gave a report and you guys said, okay, bye. Since then, we've been trying to put our heads together. And Madam Chairman, please excuse me, but we have kissed every rear end from here to there, trying to figure out what to do to get the city on board with us to help create a plan for Greeno Road. The property owners are on board to work together. For instance, the gentleman that owns the property adjacent to ours, Green Nursery, is wanting to work with us to do something as a unit. Mm -hmm. Mr. Verhostra and the property owners up in that area are wanting to get together and do something. We have contacted a great firm in Atlanta. We presented you guys with copies of, of plans for this. And all we get is, sorry, you know, go your own way. We need some guidance. We need some help. Nobody can live on Greeno Road. It's impossible. We want to do this right. We want to do it with the best interest of fair hope in mind. And, and we honestly mean that. Um, but we're just getting nowhere. And unless, for all these years, unless we can get some guidance, and I, I say this without intending any disrespect, we will come up here one by one on the same night and ask for rezoning and be turned down and there will be yet another lawsuit. And I cannot imagine any other court, any court, turning us down. And you'll end up with a strip mall, which is what we do not want. I know Dick has tried to work with us. He's going, I don't know what else to do. Well, neither do we. So, I mean, I don't mean to stand here and be preachy or unappreciative of the job that you are trying to do, but we just feel like we're being just kicked by the wayside. Mr. Lewis had a conversation with Mr. Camp before he came up with a project a number of years ago um, for a rezone request. And to his face, the mayor was all in favor of it when he came up before planning and zoning. The mayor voted against it. And that's one of the bad laws in the state of Alabama. The mayor not only has a vote on this board, but appoints every member. Um, uh, we talk about people recusing themselves, and I am so glad that the mayor didn't say too much about uh, Mr. Fowles rezoning his property because he was a huge campaign contributor to Tim's campaign last election, and he should have recused himself then. But we need help. We need honest help. We need to know if you guys can help us, if you can go the extra mile, and convince the city that they need to spend the money to get a developer on board with us so that we can do this right, or do we hodgepodge because we only have one chance to do it. And nobody wants to screw it up. We certainly don't want to. And I, I, I don't mean to be unkind, again, or disrespectful, but we can no longer just sit on our properties. Sirens, mowers, traffic, Mr. Verhostra with his problems. Um, the trailer park is atrocious. Uh, something's got to be done and we just need some guidance. If you can't give us guidance, tell us to go to the council. We'll see what the council has to say. But I'm certain hiring a planner to help us do this is going to be a whole lot less expensive than another lawsuit. So, And I'm not making threats. Please don't misunderstand. But I can definitely see that happening. <laughs> 